this video gonna blow you away sorry I had to get the pun out of the way early um, big boy we've done the pressure washer before now it's time for the blower pro twin motored huge hose extremely good build quality multiple running settings on it different nozzle types um, it's going to eliminate water spotting from your car if it's ceramic coated if it's wax you're going to dry your car with this and not a towel you're going to reduce scratching heats it heats the air as it comes through that's incredible in the winter and like i say comes with a nice hose and a couple of nice tips on it as well rubber coated in addition if you work in a workshop comes with lockable caster wheels um max wind speed over 250 kilometers an hour that's nuts but what we need is a cool car to work on with it. Cue the GT3 RS. Now, this is a car that I detailed two plus years ago um, really extensive detail on everything ceramic coated wheels body glass plastics you name it it's coated um, owner doesn't drive it in the wet he's very particular about it and I knew this would be the perfect car to really show what the blower does I set when drying a car both motors to full speed and you see that hose rapidly expand it still remains very pliable and very flexible and instantly you've seen how quickly it moves water off the surface granted i could have picked a better color but listen you you don't have everything to play with all of the time um it, it moves water like i've not seen something move water before i've always towel dried a car and then used the smaller blower um since owning this unless the car's unprotected i don't towel dry it this thing is just nuts um, and if you've paid the money to have your car ceramic coated the the cost and the value of this product is I don't think it's unreasonable I would use this over a leaf blower I know a lot of people like using leaf blowers with different attachments this and that I have more control over this I've got one hose and one nozzle Compared to other brands, this hose is extremely flexible considering the length and you still get good air travel out of it as well. Really nice handle. But you're going to say to me, but I can go on eBay and buy a pet dryer for 90 quid, Joe. Yeah, you can. But we got waterproof switches. Pet dryers don't. It's cheap, it's nasty, and it doesn't come with the same build quality. Look at the difference in the tips and the handles. This is made for car drying. This is a purpose-built piece of machinery. This is the tool that you need. But let's throw a little test up. So I've drenched the door on the GT3. I've not sheeted any water off, it's just heavily beading. I'll dry the door and the wing mirror, and when the door is completely free of water, we'll stop the timer and we'll see the difference. There you have it. 18.3 seconds for the blower pretty impressive that equates to about three and a half to four minutes on an average size car on the main panels we'll rinse the panel down again exactly the same way as i've done it on the previous time i'll then get the pet dryer whilst whilst i'm doing this things to note the blower follows you around and you've got enough hose that you can leave it at the front of the car to dry the back of the car. I'm holding the pet dryer, I'm holding the hoses, look how small the handle is, it's not a stout piece of machinery. This is designed to sit in your utility room and give your poodle a blow over once you're done. Not to dry a properly protected vehicle. Uh, instantly you can see that this does not move water in the same manner that the blower is. Don't get me wrong, it moves water. We're, we're talking about a sunny day, the, the difference in this could be your car being water spotted or not. 40.4 seconds, over double the time, so this is going to take you 10 plus minutes to do a car, just the panels, no wheels. But you want to see it on a bit of colour. Here we go. Um, 
Ford Puma that I visited for a new car detail. Um, I'll leave my website in the description below if you're interested in detail and services. Um, Crystal Serum Light and XOV4. That is a quarter of the front end dried in seconds. I cannot tell you how impressive it was. I thought I'll make a video on this but I'll carry on using my blower that I already had. That's gone to my dad. He now owns that and I use this for every job I go to. Now you'll notice in a few of these clips I've probably got an earphone in or on. The, the, the wind speed on this is absolutely outrageous therefore it makes a bit of noise. So throw some headphones in, listen to a bit of radio, Spotify, whatever you're into, even just get some ear defenders because this thing shifts water but it also shifts noise. So just something to be aware of when you when you do purchase it just make sure you've got a decent set of headphones but like I say um, I got it and I didn't expect to love it um, and as soon as I used it on the GT3 I fell in love with it and like I say I've continued to use it since um, what else do I use it for because you might not have a ceramic coated car well you can use this in the same manner as another blower so you might just want to dry cracks crevices little bits and pieces with it um, you can do that that's not a problem but also don't forget you've got different settings on your motor now while I'm talking here have a look at that hose how much that expands is absolutely nuts and I start walking and it follows me around the car it's genius anyway um, back to where I was um, yeah you've got different speeds on the motor right so if you've got an interior that's particularly dusty you've got dogs or something like that and you need to blow out your air vents flick it on a half speed on a single motor you can use it on the interior got stuff down the sides of your seats put both of them on a half speed you can get the small crevice nozzle on the end of it blow the sides of your seats out this isn't sort of just you can only blow your car with it when you when you're spending this much money on a, a piece of machinery come up with other uses for it my qualm with some of the machine polishers on the market is they're very expensive and a weekend warrior is not going to use them all the time maybe once twice a year this here you'll use every weekend without fail um, and like I say it, it goes everywhere with me and my van at the moment um, whenever it comes out it gets talked about people ask questions um, I was at a garage they had airlines I pulled this out and I could blow all the crevices on a car quicker than I could with an airline really really sturdy piece of machinery that if you're a professional detailer or you're just a proper enthusiast you need to check out the range of the big boy blowers um, I'll throw a link in the box underneath the video so you can check it out and if you haven't ordered from a woman finished before when you order your blower if you use code Joe10 at checkout gets you 10 percent off as well so you're going to save a little bit of money so that's quite sweet So like I say, think of other uses. You might not have a ceramic coated car, but your wheels are always pretty beady. Blow your wheels down with them. It saves you ruining microfiber towels after microfiber towels. Um, on this occasion, I detailed a Porsche GT4. It was in for a new car detail and needed some machining work. Whole car was machine polished. And as with any machine polishing, you get a little bit of dust in. I don't particularly want to wash the car and chuck get the chance of watermarks before applying ceramic coating. Flicked the small nozzle on, gave everything a thorough blow down with a big boy and it was ready for ceramic coating. So like I say, this really does fit 
all of the markets in terms of beginners to top end detailers. If you're a top end detailer and you ain't got one of these in your studio, what are you playing at? So there you have it, what I'm going to coin as the world's best car dryer. As always, thanks for watching, stay tuned for some more videos, next one's going to be good, another GT3 but a different variant. Subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers!